All right, we're going to start uh, by talking about properties of matrix addition. Um, matrix addition and subtraction. Um, and addition and subtraction go hand in hand. And addition and subtraction, not very difficult when it comes to matrices. Um, now, in order to add or subtract, so let me actually... In order to add or subtract um, matrices, they must be the same dimension. So um, addition and subtraction of matrices So they must be the same dimension. Must be same dimension or order, right? DIM is dimension. <clears throat> um, so these two matrices, this is the two by three matrix and this is a two by three matrix. So um, they are the same dimension. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, just let's find A plus B, we'll do addition first. So I wanna do matrix A, which is this matrix. And I want to add to this matrix, matrix B, 0, 1. Um, and it's very simple. Um, so the dimension of your uh, sum is going to be the same dimension as the two initial matrices. Um, so <clears throat> to, ad to add two matrices together, you have to have the same dimension or order. And the matrix that is your final sum is also the same dimension. So the final sum is also the same dimension. So I am expecting um, my sum to be also a 3 by 2 matrix. Now to find the element <clears throat> in row 1, column 1, it's the sum of those elements in that same location in both of the other matrices. So 1 plus 2, I'm going to show my work. The element in my final sum in row 1, column 2 is the sum of the two elements, in this case two elements because there's only sum of two matrices, is the sum of the elements in those locations, and so on and so forth. 3 plus 3 here, 4 plus negative 2 here, 5 plus 0, and 6 plus 1. So I'm basically just adding the elements in each of the same location to get that corresponding element in the final sum. And then, you know, I usually don't write this out, but 3, 2, 6, 2, 5, 7 is my final sum of these two um, matrices. Um, obviously, <clears throat> excuse me, if I add B plus A, you know, I can add in any order. It would be 2 plus 1 instead of 1 plus 2. It would be negative 1 plus and obviously, you know, um, addition is commutative. So in terms of um, matrices, addition, what do we do? addition of matrix matrices is also commutative. So these are equal. A plus B is the same as B plus A. Um, and that's one of these rules, right? Commutative property of addition. Uh, associative property of addition, right? I can pretty much add in any order that I want with matrices because it's the same thing, you know, in regular uh, in terms of regular numbers, um, obviously, yeah, A plus the zero matrix is A, it spits back A, and then obviously A plus its additive inverse will give me zero. So, you know, if I have a, um, <clears throat> uh, a matrix A and I add to it a matrix A with all of the additive inverses, then obviously I'll get a zero matrix. Um, uh, we'll do subtraction. Let's do A minus B. And the same idea has to be true, right? The two matrices have to have the same order or dimension. One, three, three, four. One, three, three, four, five, six. A minus B. Two, negative one. Two, negative one. Three, negative two. And zero, one. So, I mean, it's the same thing. It's almost like adding the opposite of these values here. So, you know, you could think of it as that, as that too. But um, my final uh, difference is going to also be the same dimension as the two matrices that started. So 1 minus 2, 3 minus negative 1, 3 minus 3, 4 minus negative 2, 5 minus 0, and 6 minus 1. So I'm subtracting elements in the same location to get that corresponding element in the final difference. And um, do not forget to take this subtraction and you're subtracting each of these. So it's almost like you're distributing that negative into all of these elements. 1 minus 2 is negative 1. 3 minus negative 1 is 4. 0. 4 plus 2 is 6. 
five and five. So this is my difference. I want to show you that if I do b minus a, so two negative one, three negative two, zero and one, minus one, three, three, four, five, six, I'm expecting a different result, and let me show you. So two minus one is one. Negative one minus three is negative four. Three minus three is zero. Negative two minus four is negative six. Zero minus five is negative five. One minus six is negative five. So as you can see, B minus A is different than A minus B, and therefore subtraction is not commutative, correct? Like addition is. So you want to make sure that the order in which you subtract um, is proper, right? You don't want to just mix the two.